Oh, y'all. So today is uh, June 26th, which means it is almost July. We are, uh, we are four, four days from July, right? Five days from July? How many days are in June? 30, 31. Okay, so we're four days from July and my BoxyCharm Lux shipped on the 11th and uh, guess what showed up today? You, yeah, you, if you if you guessed it was the boxy charm, you were right. So uh, so yeah, it took two full weeks in the mail, which I'm not blaming boxy charm for that. That is definitely the mail service, but it's certainly frustrating because we've been waiting for it. I've been hoping for it, and then like today it shows up, and I was like. Cool. So Boxy Charm, the Boxy Lux is what we have for us today. Uh, we do have a year long subscription. When they decided to up the price, we price locked ourselves in at the, the lower price for the rest of the year. But we do continue to pay an additional $30 on top of what we have already paid for the year long subscription every three months to get a seasonally big box, which I believe is retailed. I think they say it's gonna be at least like $300 worth of stuff. I don't remember because it's been a long time since we've signed up for this, but uh, it was the Boxy Lux. This is of course going to be the summertime themed box. Even though it showed up late and I'm a little bit sad about that, let's let's jump in. I don't know any of the spoilers. I don't uh, know anything really about the box or what to expect besides what I customized, which I've since forgotten. I do remember thinking that like what I chose, I was not super happy with. And I've, I've also seen like, I've not watched any videos, but I've seen some people just from their thumbnails saying that they're not sure that this was the best box. So let's jump in. Let's see what we have for June for, for BoxyCharm. Paper, yay, it's my favorite. Just kidding. This is all smushed, but they did give me at least the product breakdown of what the prices and everything are, which is very nice because um, Ipsy didn't do that this month and I was very disappointed. More paper, more paper. This looks like it's, oh, Kylie skin. Uh, I'm not a Kylie Jenner fan, so I don't really buy from the brand, so sorry. So the first thing we have is a Pure Lees Perfect Glow BB Cream, which I love. Um, I'm not a huge BB cream fan, but I've said it in the past. I really like it when they do things that are more skin toned matching, if that makes sense, like foundations, concealers, things that are a little bit harder to match and so therefore, they really have to try and specify it to you for the box to be appropriate. So I like that they did a BB cream in this. It is in the shade medium, which is probably gonna be too dark for me because I'm pale. But hopefully during the summer, if I wear it, it might be a little bit better. It's got SPF 30, which I like. I normally use BB creams under my foundations just as a nice like, kind of tinted sunscreen. We're not really traveling this year, so I don't know if I'm gonna get a ton of use out of it right now, but I Good products. Oh, I should have figured that when they had a coupon for Kylie Skin, I was gonna get something from Kylie Skin. So let's see what we have here. Huge, it's very large. It's a very large, nice sized little thing. It looks like it is a foaming face wash. Like I said, good size. Honestly, I don't know how to feel about this. I like face washes. I like foaming cleansers. I really just don't like the brand much. Yeah, I'll have to try this out because I've not tested this before to see how I really feel about it. But I mean, definitely a good size. Um, I know I'm, I'm sure it retails for a decent amount of money, so not a bad thing. So we got a cleanser and a BB cream so far. Then we've got, <gasps> what is this? Too funny. So we just did like probably like two or three days ago, we posted a video about different cannabis products that I've received in boxes or that I've purchased. Uh, mainly I've received them in boxes, but this is the M Green Grass CBD Head to Toe Cream. And it is a 100 milligrams of cannabid oil. And it looks like it's just like an all over face moisturizer, skin cream with cannabis in it. So cool, decent little size, very nice sturdy little bottle. Um, I'm assuming if I had to guess based on knowing like the way they do pricing and the way that they include products and the products that they typically include, I would guess that this is probably a high ticket value item. I'm not sure I would necessarily spend a lot of money on it, but I'm guessing this is probably gonna be upwards of like 40 to 50 bucks if I had to guess. I could be wrong, but that's that would be my assumption for this one. Okay. I was a little disappointed with what I just saw. I could be wrong, could be great, but I'm thinking it's something that I already have, which I'm a little disappointed with because from what I saw from their normal box variations, there were some palettes and stuff that I was hoping to get. And uh, it looks like this one is one that I happen to already own. So I'm a little bit disappointed with that, but it's okay, it's fine. We're gonna move on. So. Now we've got the Tula Skincare Probiotic Skincare Glow and Get It Cooling Brightening Eye Balm. So it's an eye cream, good size. I feel like this is really skincare heavy box and I'm not loving it. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't hate it, but I just don't really 
like it. I feel like I've waited all this time to just kind of be like super underwhelmed, if that makes sense. So yeah, so we got an eye cream. I have been using a lot more eye creams and skincare stuff lately. Um, I pretty much am using them every day, which I wasn't doing before COVID and I was not showering every day and now I'm showering every day neurotically because I come home from work and I'm like, I have to shower. I mean, I'm definitely getting more use out of them. I just feel like it's like, there's not really a lot of makeup in this box. The next thing that we have here, I definitely chose this, um, but I really wasn't super excited about it when I chose it. It's, uh, I'm guessing the brand's name is Osea or Osha maybe, but it is one of the little like face, I don't know, like scrapers, if you will. It's like more, less of like, you're not scraping your pores out, but you're like massaging. It, it looks like a jade one. I'm gonna have to read the card because I don't remember exactly what it was, um, but it looks like um, it, a jade one. And basically you're gonna like rub it down your skin to help like clear out sinuses and like push in um, and work in and massage in some of your creams and stuff that you're using. So I opted for this because um, I don't remember what the other options were, but I definitely didn't really care about any of the other options. So I thought this was going to be the best one for me. Unfortunately, I got a really cool roller, face roller, um, one of the ice face rollers, which is the metal one that you leave in the freezer and then you roll it on your face from Fun, And I really like that. And then I already have a jade roller. So I feel like this is kind of obsolete. I sound like super whiny right now. I'm not trying to, I'm just, I, we waited so long for this box and like I'd kind of seen stuff that was kind of hinting that this wasn't the best box and I'm kind of feeling that right now. So I'm just experiencing a little bit of disappointment, if you will. Okay, so the next thing, um, once again, some more skincare. This is from Pure Heroes by Nature Village. It is a Propolis 80 sleeping mask. Good size. It looks like it is made with like honeybee extract and it's supposed to just give you nourishment and glowing skin uh, for tired skin when you're sleeping. So I have another um, honey based, I think it's from Hey Honey, but it's another honey based um, sleeping mask that we actually got in a boxy charm a while ago. I really like that one. So this one may be a good one as well. I'm gonna be honest, right, why I'm feeling so disappointed right now is I feel like this is 100% skincare. I mean, we've opened up so far, I've gotten one, two, three, four, five, six items that I pulled out of this box. Every single one of them is what I would classify as skincare. The BB cream is the only one that might kind of double as a, as a makeup product, but it's it, it's really stretching it because I would really classify BB creams more as a skincare because it's more of like an SPF or a moisturizer that also just happens to have a little bit of tint in it. So I'm just super underwhelmed with everything we've gotten. I'm fine with skincare, but I don't want, like I didn't sign up for BoxyCharm for it to be mainly skincare. The last two I believe are makeup products. Um, the next thing we have is body, body or, Bodyography, bodyography, I don't know. Bodyography, I don't know. Oh, bodyography is probably what it is. That's probably what it is. Words are hard sometimes, sorry. And it looks like it is a dual lip liner set. It is, it is a dual lip liner set. Pretty colors, you get one dark one, one light one. And I don't really typically use lip liners, but I feel like I will get some good use out of them. I'm gonna just swatch them really quick. Just, oh, they're really velvety. That was like a dual swatch I did at the same time. So I really wasn't trying that hard. And it looks like they have like really nice pigments, very pretty colors. Even the darker one is still like a very neutral one, really buttery. All right, I'm excited about this. This is the first product that I've opened up that I've been like, I'm really excited about this one. So yeah, I like these two. Um, and then the last thing we have here is the Tarte Tartiste Pro. I'm almost positive this is like the original one that they released a couple years ago that I already have. So it may end up going towards a giveaway. It is a gorgeous palette. It's a great palette. It's one of my favorite palettes, but I've had this now for like four years. As much as I understand like, yes, this is a subscription box where they're doing um, maybe some older season stuff. This, this palette has been on the market for, I think we, I think I got it when Nikki and I got engaged, which was in October of 2016. So it's not really like, like gifting it to people who are doing the Lux boxes to me seems like almost like an insult because clearly these, the people who are normally investing in the Lux boxes, I would say are more makeup enthusiasts. They probably have, I don't want to generalize, but I would just say you're more likely to have something, especially that is this old on the market than not having it. It's a, it's a staple product. I love it. It's a great product. I don't think it's a bad thing. I just think that it's incredibly unoriginal. And honestly, I am 
very disappointed with this box. Um, I had worry that I was going to be disappointed with it. Um, this is by far, I would say in all the years that I've had the boxy Lux, which I think we were coming on two years of having the Lux, not just, I mean, cause we've had this, the regular subscription for about three years now. This is, I would say the probably the worst Lux that I've ever gotten from them. So it's not, I'm not trying to be negative. I know I, there was one Ipsy that I was very negative about and everybody really like dug into me for it, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm never gonna lie and pretend like I like a box that I don't like. And I just, I feel like this was a really big waste of money this month. Um, if I had missed the Lux, I would not be sad because honestly what I saw from the, the normal boxes was much better than what we got in this. And that is not okay because you're spending $50 for this box, which is the most expensive in the subscriptions. Yeah, we'll go through the pricing list because I do want you guys to get an idea of what they're, they're saying that it's worth. But to me, this was not worth the $50. If I had saved whatever $30 extra that we spent to, to do the upgrade box and just not received one at all this month or received the regular one, um, it would have been fine with me. So that's, that's really disappointing, really sad, especially since we waited so long. It's almost now July and now we're getting this box and it's just, it is what it is. So the Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner Foaming Face Wash is $24. Um, that seems actually pretty, pretty reasonable for like what they would charge for it. I would not pay that for it, but it would, that does make sense to me. The Pure Lees, uh BB cream is $35, same thing. I really wouldn't pay that for it, but it does make sense. That was what they would charge for it. The Tula Skin Care uh, Brightening Eye Balm is $28. The Tarte uh, Tartiste Pro Amazonian Clay Palette is a $49 retail value. And I'm almost positive that will end up going in our giveaway pile. Um, we should be doing one hopefully soon for our thousand subscriber giveaway, um, which we're coming up on, which I'm really excited about. So it may be included in that one, but I, I mean, I already have it. So it's obviously not going to be something that I use. Um, the Oshia Sculptor is $32. The CBD, oh damn, I am good. The CBD Head to Toe Cream is $56. I am so good. I, and I would not pay that for it, but I could just tell you by like the weight of the bottle and like, I'm like, this is one of their high value items, this box. Uh, the Pure Heels sleeping mask was $55 and the Bodyography lip pencil set was $28. It's a $307 value for the box. Just frankly, even the, just looking at the list of, of products that they have provided with us, there have been some times where we've received boxes where they've been like, this product's $100 and I don't agree with it, but normally they're running in at about, 480, 475, something like that. This is a low valued box. I'm sorry, it just, it, they, they phoned it in on this one. I'm very disappointed with it. It's enough, for the first time in my boxy charm subscription life, I have considered, I am now saying, is the Lux really worth it? Because this was not worth it to me. And um, I'm, a, I'm incredibly disappointed. I hate that this is negative, but I, like I said, this is 100% what I want to be with you guys. I'm gonna be candid. If I love a box, I'm gonna be like, I really love this box. This was a great box. If I hate a box, I'm gonna be like, I really hated this box. And that's how I feel right now. I'm incredibly disappointed. I feel like a lot of this stuff is going to either get not used by me or given away, or I'll use it occasionally. And then it's gonna sit and wait for me to use later. And I just, I, that is a sad thing. These subscription boxes should be fun to get. They should bring you new exciting products that you're, you wanna try. They should be a variety of things. It shouldn't all be, unless it's a skincare based product box, it shouldn't all be skincare. So that's how I'm feeling on that. Um, sorry, it was negative. It is a, just a very honest review of how I'm feeling right now. But uh, yeah, I love you guys. We've grown so much, especially in the past couple months and normally because of these kind of subscription box videos. So if you are new to the channel, definitely consider subscribing. I promise I will always be honest with you. I won't always be this negative. Just today was not a good day. So, uh, so yeah, if you did like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps the page out a ton. And other than that, I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe, stay girly with a dark twist.